Oh, hey, hi. Nope, fighting off a sneeze. Itchy nose. Give me a sec. I'm trying real hard. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna force this one out. Hold on. Okay. Ah, oh, that one wouldn't go away. I tried to stop it. Anyway, it's Friday. Here we are. I'm focused now. We're uh raced again by a map suggestion from This is Me Lemons. And it's um following the food chain theme. This time we're locating where the dominoes is. Give me one sec. Sorry. Okay. Just had to clear my nose a little bit. A little sniffle. So, freshness. Iron Mud Tesco. Well, that is a British thing, if I've ever heard. Like, I don't know if this is, like, your, like, number one British uh, grocery chain, I believe it is British, right? Duncan Stewart Park. Are we gonna see maybe a, uh... Oh, man, sniffles. It's not going away. I sneezed once, and now it's just, like, a huge pain in the ass. What? Let's see what specialty pies they have here. The sun is directly reflecting off this. I know they're doing buy one, get one free, that I'm not actually gonna be able to see, like, regional favorites of Domino's, but if this is like a British one, I'm going to guess it's English breakfast pizza, which is just going to have eggs, one half of a roasted tomato, a uh, blood sausage, and a pile of baked beans. It's just like what they put on the plate. They just dump it on top of a pizza. Underworld tattoo seems cool. Anyway, uh, we're going to search for where we are here. I know it's in England. I just don't know where. I'm sticking with England. How's your week been? It's Friday already. I'm going to talk to you about the previous weekend because, as I said before, doing all of these all at once for the week. Oh, here we go. Bonnie Bridge, Fikirk. Oh boy. B816. Is B. Is that a thing over here? I don't know. This, well, this is technically United Kingdom, so I'm not completely off. Anyway, I had a little get-together at my house over the weekend. That uh, was something I was planning for a couple of months now. But I had some friends over, I haven't seen for a while. Uh, made some food, sat, ate, had a good time. And having to go to the grocery store just to buy the little... Uh, things I needed to make. Snacks or whatnot for everybody. That does say the same thing. Stop looking at that thing. And interesting. That ooh, we do actually have a Glasgow. Look at me. That's my Scottish. We're in Glasgow. 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 So there's the 80. And the 803 is going to be around here, I believe. Although they're not showing up. So I have a re I'm going to put there, I'm going to go back up the road to better geolocate myself. Okay, Falkirk, Bonnie Bridge, and High. Well, there was Bonnie Bridge, Fikirk, which was Falkirk is there. So Bonnie Bridge is to my right, Falkirk is up and to the left. So how do I get this to make sense? Straight on, a little f farther past that gets you to Bonnie Bridge. So we're, where's High? Are we in Denny? Does, does Denny have a Domino's? <laughs> Denny Domino's? I don't feel like there's a Domino's in a Denny, in Denny, but I don't know. Maybe it's a little farther up in Dunface or Dooney Pace. Oh, uh, it was in Bonnie Bridge. Okay, I'm gonna take a little sip. Anyway, I was going to make the usual stuff I make for parties: uh, chips, cheese, a little uh, charcuterie, charcuterie. 
charcuterie. And uh, had to put, this is a weird combo of a Domino's and a Cold Stone Creamery, huh? Can I get a little closer to see what the sign says? Oh, I totally can. Okay. Ogundu GRA for the comfort and safety of all residents. You are requested to not observe the following rules. This seems to be a extremely gated community. Um, this, I don't want to say seems out of place. Speed kills police. Our daily mana is out. Get your copy now. Where is this? Can I get a flag? Ugoque. Ogudu Road. Hmm. This isn't interesting. Use Santa Cruz. This is an interesting little, like, setup here. What do we have for... Oh, I don't know what money signature that is. Is that like green beans? No, it can't be. Use Haulage Solutions Partner. Total, hmm. Money lender. Interesting advertisement. I get a little bit of info here. A lot of domino signage, though. Crazy. Uh, yeah, going grocery store, picking up usual stuff. One of the things I was making since um, one of the gifts after my grandma died a very long time ago was my aunt actually collected all of the, her cookbook her recipes that are all like handwritten. Granted, it's in signature and she, oh, it's, I'm going to say we're in Lagos just to say, but I really don't know exactly where we are. Oh, oh, wait, it was O oh, Goo. What was it? OG. Oh, hmm. I'm going to say we're, I'm going to put us there. I might hit home just to see if I can actually get a better um, location. Because Ogudu, oh, that's what it is. Domino's Pizza. Ooh, it's at like uh, pep, onions, peppers, maybe chicken. But man, they are pushing hard. So, oh, Gudu. Gotta look for that. Uh, one of the things she did was made that um, cookbook. And it's all, hand, it's all cursive, very fancy cursive. I mean, I can read it, but the photocopy uh, quality, you know, you photocopy things enough times, enough times, enough times, it starts to get pixelated and a little hard to read sometimes. But it's full of super old recipes where, like, one of the things I tried to make was a uh, reading this thing. It's like, oh, what is this thing? And they try to find this one ingredient. And I looked it up online, and they stopped making it in the 50s, I believe. So this is some super old stuff. But one of the things on there was a very old-fashioned, um, what was it called? Maple oatmeal pie. And I think it was right next to the page of making tomato soup spice bread. <laughs> kind of like what carrot cake is. I think it's like similar to that. Oh, it was in Lagos. Is there a... Yeah, Ogudu right there. Okay. I should have put it in Lagos, but I didn't. This is a weird combination I see. I'm about to point with my finger. I don't know why. <laughs> like you got... English with some fancy, you got Chinese writing on top. Grill 99. You make us perfect. Hmm. This seems Southeast Asian. Golden Landmark Shopping Center. Okay. And this oatmeal, maple oatmeal pie. It, it's uh, something I never heard of. I like maple syrup. I don't know about you people. The authentic stuff, you know, because that's kind of what my state is known for. One of the things we do, um, again, if you don't know what state I'm in, I'll definitely end up telling it if I, when we actually ever get to uh, 
my state. We haven't gotten there. This is Singapore. SG, I believe, is Singapore. Let's see. Let's zoom in a bit, and I'm never going to find dominoes in this fucking spaghetti ball bird's nest. But wait, stand, wait a second. I see Stanford. This doesn't look like the right setup for it to be here, but zoom in a bit and maybe just put ourselves like right here. Unless I happen to see it as I go around here, but I won't. What does that say? Oh, America building. The uh, pie, yeah, sorry. I ended up getting stuff for the pie and you know the thing they say of people, you know, they're people are smart, but like individuals are. But you get enough of us in a crowd, it, it starts getting that mob mentality of just irrational thought. Instinct takes over. People panic for panic purposes. It's just kind of human nature. It's shitty, but again, it's just it's just the. Uh, the the mindset of I gotta get mine to make sure I'm safe and set. I mean it it's kind of a basic human ideal, at least here in the US, of just being like, hey, I gotta look out for mine and mine own. The thing of riding being in a plane and if you're gonna help anybody, you gotta make sure you put your air mask on first. It's kind of like that same mentality put into general culture and life around here in the US and just how many people buy toilet paper paper towels essentials pasta anything that can last for a while kind of like preppers basically like get to that prepper mentality of actually having enough food and things set so if you needed to hunker down for a period of time you'd be set now everybody's trying to do that and it's just the thing of everyone just piling on of why is everybody buying all the paper towels and toilet paper? It's just a reactionary thing. It is weird that it focuses on that, but I'm going to take a sip. It's just the uh, instinctual mentality of just panic. What can I do to stop me panicking? And after a while... People finally, all the people who hoard shit will have hoarded, so then everyone else will be able to pick up what they need. Followed by them maybe going on to something else. But maybe I'm not, oh, we were nowhere near it. We were farther down. Because apparently Mercia, or Stanford, whatever it's called, has many locations within Singapore. This Domino's Pizza, what do they have here? They don't seem to be advertising as hard. I want to see what this bus says. Are we going? Yeah. Ow. That hurt. Okay. Sorry. Getting distracted. Anyway. Oh, we're going to find out where we are. Sort of yarn. Trianglen. I don't think this bus is going to catch up to us, so I can't really use that, I think, as a... Uh, maybe I can. It's catching up. Yes, it is. Via Sort of yarn. I don't feel that this bus is going to tell me anything. Oh, you just flew the fuck by. Okay. What do we got? Nope. Green bus. Not helping me. We got dot nets. Well, that doesn't help me. Baobab hair. Hmm. Okay, this isn't Norway. We are in, uh, southern England. Now, I don't know if I'm actually going to get the, uh, wait, it does say we're on the E6. <clears throat> it's Soderbjarn. Yeah, you blurred out there. 
E6. Let's see if we can sink a battleship here. E6. All right. We've got... I don't know if that's the name of a town. We're going to find out as we... Okay, E6 seems to go all the way down here to Malmo. Maybe it ends right here in uh, Trelborg. Trelleborg. But we're going to kind of just take a look just to see if uh, Sutter Yarn, that one seems to pick out in my brain a little bit more than the other one. Although I'm sure it's not even E6. These two merge? Yes, they do. Okay. Triangle and Sotervarn. I am butchering your language. <clears throat> Don't see it. Don't see it. Anyway, the party made that pie. It's really good. Um, we actually sat there and tried the uh, hard cider for the first time after my attempt of... Uh, what was it? Fermenting it and uh, carbon carbonize carbonization of it. Okay, yeah, Goatberg, Trellborg. Yeah, we gotta go down this way. All right, Goat Goatborg. We got Goat Land. Eastad. E six E twenty E sixty five. All right, so. E20 was up here. I gotta find E65 now. Hmm, there's E20. I think this is this. Uh, so I'm gonna put this down here. Although if I can verify this to an E65, so I think I remember them saying that, yes, this is the English version of that. It would help if I find Trellborg here, but I'm not, and I'm not. Oh, I ran out of time. Jesus. Oh, we were the fire. Oh, God damn it. God damn it. Anyway, Swedish pizza. Got ham, Swedish meatballs, and that Swedish meatball sauce. Don't at me. Although I do have a Twitter. I don't think I've said anything in over a year on that thing. I don't really use it. This is Turkish. This just looks Turkish to me, so... Yeah, this is 100% Turkish. It's funny how I can nail this. Just by looking at it. Now, if I'm actually going to find what... Um, city this is, that, that's a whole other question. I was just looking over, and I was going to be very upset if I had not unpaused it after my sneeze fit when the video first started. Turkish pizza. It's just Donner on pizza. I would eat that. That sounds amazing. Fucking souvlaki. Wait, yeah, souvlaki is a Turkish thing, I think. It's, no, that's Greek. It's Greek via Turkey. Greek via Turkish, I mean, slash Ottoman. Shit's good if you've never had it. Can't really get any good uh, souvlaki around here. Well, we actually have one in the city I was in. Trab zone. I don't think that's... Uh, I feel like I've heard that word before. I say we're in Bursa. If not, we're in this area. Um actually had a fire not too long ago because this guy was just walking around just lighting shit on fire you know got arrested for it not too soon after but he burnt the fuck out of the front of the front of the uh i guess it's a restaurant i don't think it technically is i mean it's just a kind of like one of these kind of like hole in the wall food things where you just after you're out drinking you go get yourself a kebab or a uh, Suvlaki or a Giro. Giro. Oh, I want to see that sign. I don't think that's actually a helpful sign for what I need to do. 
And yeah, there's some stools and a weird bench thing inside. It was really just meant for drunk people to get their food and stand outside and sway back and forth as they try to eat their kebab and have it end up falling all over their uh, their clothes and the floor and on their shoes. And by floor, I mean ground. While they're just like, oh, it's so fucking good. Laughing their ass off at just dumb words. Fun times. For a time. It seems like a very... Can I maybe see... Morpheus? No, that doesn't help me. I'm going to say this is Istanbul, even though I have no way of actually figuring that out. Unless I said it somewhere and I've just not noticed it. Which is entirely possible. Semaver and Semit. Semaver. Ooh. Is this like the asshole ice cream? I don't think it is. Tiny little donuts, maybe? Ooh, we getting some minarets here. Oh, okay, here we go. Tabakan. What is this? These are just, I think, lo local places within town. It's not, it's not helping me actually, like, figure out. Oh, yeah, okay, we're in Tres Trasbone. Okay, I got the cut rate at least. I can say I at least did that for all of these. Let me stretch. Oh, God. Yeah. It's that Friday stretch when you know you're done. Anyway, that was our tour of Domino's around the world. I'd like to thank Lemons again for uh, making this map for us and sharing it with me so I can share it with you. And if you have any map suggestions like they did, go ahead and put them in the comments below. Without it, along with any other thoughts, questions, comments, concerns, complaints, likes, favorites, comments, and subscribes. Weekend's here. Pretty soon we'll get back here to Monday and we'll do this all over again like we've been doing for the past couple of months. Past couple of years at this point. It all keeps moving along. And we keep moving along. As, uh, yeah, I guess ain't gonna stop. Can't stop. Never stops. At least for the time being. Anyway, have a good weekend, folks. We'll see you on Monday.